Mark Speck the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I got a $150 mystery box from Squatchy. If you want to see what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Oh, <clears throat> ended up picking up a $150 mystery box from Squatchy. Um, didn't know he was doing any uh, mystery boxes. Ended up finding out when we were on uh, Dave Comic Foo's channel for the um, Comic Advantage unboxing. And uh, I found out he was currently hosting some uh, mystery boxes and I messaged him and uh, he said they were a buck fifty, and uh, came with a custom sketch, um, some potential big hits, and just a bunch of cool keys. So um, ended up purchasing one. This is my most expensive mystery box uh, that I've purchased to date. I don't typically buy a lot of mystery boxes, but when I uh, do see some cool stuff out there, I give it a chance. So uh, let's open this up uh, and let's see what we got. So, I'll show you all the books, go through them, if I know offhand if they're key or not, I'll mention it, and then uh, we'll reevaluate at the end and see what the, um, what I got out of it. Alright, there was this really cool uh, Moon Knight sketch in there that I was uh, eyeing, and um, I saw that no one had claimed it yet in the mystery boxes, so... If I do get that, that'll be pretty sweet. Um, there was also some really cool keys in there too that I were interested in. So uh, we'll see what's in here. And maybe there's some cool stickers too. I'm hoping I get some uh, some uh, squatchy stickers. All right. So it's a rather you know bulky mystery uh, box in this mailer. It says approved by. Squatch Clan Elders. All right. <laughs> I forget offhand how many books are supposed to be in here. I don't know if it's eight books, ten books, whatever the case may be. Um, so uh, we'll just go, like I said, one by one. I'll show you the books, and then uh, we'll go from there. It's always good for me to have some more Gemini shippers because I don't have many right now so whenever I can get some it's always a benefit uh, to me all right oh I do see some stickers already so I'm, I'm already excited this thing's heavy all right so open this up carefully so I am using some shares I'll start from the top, as it says, start here. So we'll start from the top. This is what I was talking about, Just liking these uh, stickers he was showing during the uh, live stream, who is a furry. <laughs> Let's see, stank banger, <laughs> and these are going to, you know, go here on my bottle. I've been putting some stickers on here, so uh, I can't wait to add these to the the box, you know, the collection. There you go. Murder Pizza. Oh, this is a cool one. Got a nice little uh, holographic foil there. Squatch Comics. So, at Squatchy Comics. So, check them out. Like I said, we'll start from the top. I'm going to show you the books. And then we'll uh, tally it all up. All right, first book. Oh, here we go. Nice little early spawn. I don't have this book. This is spawn issue number 10. I think there's something key about this. I think a lot of the early ones are key. I just don't remember offhand. All right, second book. What we got here? Godzilla. Number two, Monsters and Protectors, Rise Up Part Two. <laughs> I 
I am not familiar with this title from uh, IDW. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Here we go. What we got? Trailer Park Boys. Get a uh, comic book. All right. <laughs> Let's see, Devil's Due Comics. I am familiar with them. It is a small publisher. Not familiar with the title. It says the uh, official trade paperback product. 20th anniversary. Interesting. Which is cool. It says 2021. Okay. All right. Next book. Uh, all right. What we got here? Dinosaurs versus Marbox. Issue number one. Terrifying true story from Gary Hodges. Interesting. I have not heard of this book. It does have that cool uh, pre-code horror looking to it. Um, and he does have a little business card in the back. Okay, so I'm wondering if this was like a, a commit. Oh, it does say on here exclusive. Okay, so right on there at the bottom right. It says uh, exclusive Phoenix Fan Fusion 2019. Okay, so a little comic convention exclusive. That's pretty cool. All right. Next book. Oh, we got another one. Okay, cool. This is Dinosaurs vs. Marbots. Um, don't know if this is what issue this is. DDSM 97, another terrifying true tale by Gary Hodges. All right, there we go. All right, next book we got here. Uh, which book is this? I am not familiar. It says a Perillo variant, $25. I'll have to take this out and uh, see what it is. Thing looks clean. Uh, oh, here we go. Spider Woman issue number five. This is the uh, Frankie's Comics Lucio Perillo variant. Okay, has a $25 price tag on that. Put that back in there. All right, and then the last book, there we go. Oh, cool, and this was the uh, one of the custom sketches I was looking at. This is the uh, Nonstop Spider-Man issue number one, and this is, as you see, got a little COA there done by Squatchy. Really cool, it says uh, done on September 1st. Very cool, very cool. That's nice. Very nice. All right, so that was the uh, that was the mystery box. Um, it's, like I said, it was hundred fifty dollars. Some of those books I am not familiar with, so I am not sure if the value is there or not. Um, I'll have to take a look. I'm not really familiar with these books right here, so let's. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with these books, so I'll have to tally it all up all right so I'm back ended up uh, tallying up all the books got seven total books uh, six of them I looked up on eBay uh, with obviously the sketch the non-stop spider-man you can't really look that up on eBay it's a it's a one-off custom sketch so uh, we'll start off with the books and I'll tally them up and let you know, was it worth the mystery box? All right. Spawn, issue number 10. Last sold for about $2. Uh, VF Near Mint. This is about, probably say a Near Mint copy. It's a really, really clean. So maybe a few bucks more. So that's the first book. Godzilla, Monsters and Protectors, issue number two. Um, the set of, I think it's five issues, was selling for around... 20 to 25 dollars 
I found one or two copies on here. They were selling for around like three bucks. So $3. Uh, let's see. Spider Woman, issue number five, the Lucio Perillo Virgin variant by Frankie's Comics. There were no recent sales. Um, I did see a CGC 9.8 sell for around 90, but none actually sold for the actual raw issues. So I don't really know what to you know value that at. Maybe 10, 15 bucks. Um, let's see. Dinosaurs versus Marbots. I could not find these whatsoever on eBay. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what to value these at. And like I said, this is only from looking up on eBay. Um, if you can find them elsewhere, that's fine. But this is as you know, quickly I can find searching. And uh, Trailer Park Boys, issue number one. Uh, the trade paperback, I think the last one was around $10. So let's see, 10 We'll say 15, so that's 25, 28, say 30. Uh, don't know what to value these at. And we got the custom sketch. Um, I don't know what he typically charges for uh, custom sketches, but um, this one is amazing. It came out really, really clean, uh, in my opinion. Um, but as for a mystery box in general, it tallied to about I don't know, a little over 30 bucks, you know, not including what this would cost. Mystery box was $150. Uh, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. Personally, all these books are not something I'd want in the collection. Uh, minus the spawn. I'll keep the spawn. And uh, the sketch cover, which is really nice. I do like the stickers, but um, I don't think the value's there. If it is, let me know in the comments down below. Um, like I said, I don't often do mystery boxes, for, but from time to time I will buy one just on, uh, just to do it, just to support some of the community members. But um, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Write the comments down below what you guys think. And until next time, Mark's with the comics. Out.